Hi, and welcome to another edition of Hacking Maths. Today, we're going to look at how to solve equations simultaneously using the elimination method. Now, let's grab an equation, your pen and pencil, and let's begin. So, here is our equations. First of all, we want to make sure that they are in the same order. Notice how, in the red equation, we have x's, then y's, then a number. The blue equation follows a similar pattern. It has x's, then y's, and then a number. So that means we're good to start. So the first thing we should do is label our equations. Let's call the red one one and the blue one two. So for our first equation, the red one, we need to think about for these equations, which letter we are going to eliminate. So let's look at this red one here. Are there any negative signs? There are no negative signs in our first equation. In the second equation, are there any negative signs? Yes. There's a negative in front of the y. Now that's important because how we eliminate is we're going to do it by adding the equations together. And if we have a negative, that's going to allow us to cause some cancelling to happen. Now if we look a little bit more closely at this part here, we see that it's a negative 2y and a positive 3y. Now ideally, if we add them together just now, we just get y. And that doesn't really help. We want the y's to disappear. So what that means is we need to do some multiplication of our equations. Now, because there is a two in front of, in the blue y, in the blue equation in front of the y, that means we need to multiply the first equation by two. And because there's a three in front of the y in the red equation, that means we need to multiply equation two by three. So we're multiplying the first equation by two because of the blue two y, and we're multiplying the blue equation by three because of the red three y. So let's multiply these equations. Two times four x is eight x. Two times three y is positive six y. Two times 15 is 30. Okay, let's just recap. Two times four x is eight x. Two times three y is six y. And two times 15 is 30. Now we can move on to the second equation. 3 times 3x is 9x. 3 times negative 2y is negative 6y. And 3 times 7 is 21. Let's just do that again. 3 times 3x, 9x. 3 times negative 2y, negative 6y. And 3 times 7 is 21. Now just make sure all your x's and y's are in the right place and the numbers are on the right. Now, let's have a little look at those y's. Notice the numbers in front of the y's are now the same. But the signs in front of the y's are different. We have a positive sign and a negative sign. This is what we wanted. When we add these two equations together, which you'll see how to do in a second, it will cause the y's to disappear. So let's add these equations together. Draw a line, write the word add. So. To make it a little bit easier, we just put some vertical lines in. So we do 8x plus 9x is 17x. 6y take away 6y is 0, so we don't need to write anything there. And then 30 plus 21 is 51. What we have to do is divide both sides by 17, and we get x equal to 3. Okay, now that we've found x, we need to find y when x is 3. So pick the first equation, write it down. Where it says x, now write the number 3. So 4 times 3. Multiply the 4 and the 3, gives me 12. And then if we subtract 12 from both sides and then divide the answer by 3, we get y is equal to 1. So we've solved it. However, we need to check it. And you should always perform a check. So, take your equations, and instead of using the red equation to find y, we're now going to use the blue equation. So always use the other equation. x was 3, y was 1. We take those values and put them inside our blue equation. 
So wherever it says x, we write 3, and wherever it says y, we write 1. 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 1 is 2, 9 minus 2 is 7. And we can write the point of intersection is 3, 1. Now this point of intersection is important if you are graphing them. This is where the lines would cross. So that's a solved our first equation our first set of equations simultaneously using the elimination method. Now, let's look at another example where there are no negatives in front of the letters. Okay, we can see here that it's positive 3x plus 2y equals 5 and 5x plus 7y equals 1. No negatives. So first of all, let's label our equations. Now, we can choose any letter to eliminate. Uh, just for a change, let's eliminate x. And the reason we can choose any one is because they are all positive. And we'll make one negative when we come to the, when we need to. So let's eliminate x. So we can see here the number in front of the blue x is 5. So that means we must multiply the first equation by 5. But we're going to multiply it by negative 5. And if we look in front, so this way, that means it gives us a negative value in front of the x. When we multiply the blue equation, we look at the red equation and see what's in front of the x, and we see the 3. So that means we're going to multiply the blue equation by 3. So notice, because there are no negatives in either equation in front of the letters, all the numbers in front of the letters, the coefficients are positive, we need to multiply one of the equations by a negative. So we multiply the top one by a negative for, for whatever reason. We can choose either one. Sometimes it will be easier to multiply one by one, and other time it will be easier to multiply the second equation by a negative. So negative 5 times 3 is negative 15x. Negative 5 times 2 is negative 10y. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. Okay, negative 5 times 3x, negative 15x. Negative 5 times 2y, negative 10y. Negative 5 times 5, negative 25. Okay, now let's do the second equation. 3 times 5 is 15x. 3 times 7y is positive 21y. 3 times 1 is 3. Okay, 3 times 5x, 15x. 3 times 7y, 21y, and 3 times 1 is 3. So let's have a look at our equation a little more closely. If we notice, the numbers at the front are of the same size but opposite sign. This is a positive 15x in front of the blue and a negative 15x in front of the red. So that means when we add these two equations together, they're going to eliminate the x's. So let's draw our line and write the word add. Put in our vertical lines in between. And let's proceed to do the sum. 15, negative 15x add 15x is 0. Negative 10y plus 21y is 11y. Negative 25 plus 3 is negative 22. We divide both sides by 11. That gives us an answer of y is equal to negative 2. Okay, now we've found y, we need to find x. So, find x when y is negative 2. Let's take our first equation in red, substitute y is negative 2 into it. So wherever we see y, we write negative 2. So 3x plus 2 times negative 2 equals 5. That gives me 3x plus negative 4 equals 5. 3x equals 9 if we remove that negative 4. And then, then we divide both sides by 3. x equals 3. Now, as always, we must perform our check. We use the red equation to find the x value. So we now use the blue equation, our second equation. So we check with the other equation. Let's take our blue equation, write it down. Where x equals 3, we plug that in to our equation. And when y equals negative 2, we plug that in. So 5 times 3, 7 times minus 2. 
This gives me five threes are 15. Seven times negative two is negative 14. This really is the same as saying 15 take away 14 is one, and that's true. So we can write our point of intersection where the lines would cross if we graph this as the point three, negative two. Okay, that's all we've got time for this week. I hope to see you again next time on Hacking Maths. Yeah.